Did you know that you can route your data to another location automatically using conditional logic? Well, let me show you how. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I am currently in the features landing page for data routing. Now, this is probably one of my favorite things with Jotform, and just keep in mind that we're only gonna cover a couple of these items, so if you have more questions about data routing, definitely come back and check these out. But let's go ahead and head over to my Jotform. Now, for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new form. So in the top left-hand corner, we're gonna create a form from scratch on the classic form. And let's choose some form elements on the left-hand side. Let's do full name, email, address. And I'm also gonna do the drop-down, and I'm gonna put the drop-down above the address. Now, for this example, I am going to say, do I already have your address? So maybe they are already a customer of mine and they know that they are currently getting mail from me. So let's say, do I already have your address? Now, the good thing about this is data routing utilizes conditional logic. So for example, if someone came to my form and they see a lot of form fields, the more form fields you have, the less likely someone is to fill it out. So the shorter your form, the better. And that's where this data routing and conditional logic can come into play. So for this, let's go up to settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna do conditions and we're gonna do show hide field. So let's say if do I already have your address is equal to no, then we want to show the address field. So let's go ahead and save that and let's do preview form and see what that looks like. So as someone coming to my form, it only looks like there's three questions, right? So if I say, yes, I already have your address and submit, nothing else has to happen for them, which is great because they're done filling out the form. But if they say no, it's gonna automatically populate for them to fill out that address for me. So let's go ahead and turn the preview off. And let's say if they chose yes, that I do have their address, maybe I wanna send them to a different thank you page. I want that to look a little bit different than the people that I don't have the address for. So let's do another conditional logic. Let's change the thank you page. So again, if I already have your address is equal to yes, let's redirect them to somewhere that is already familiar to them. Maybe it's on our website. Maybe it's a thank you on our website instead of through job form. And we can put that URL in right there, but we can also display a custom message and we can edit that all right in here. Now, something else is maybe we have someone working on our team that is managing this mail. And if someone says, no, I don't have your address and they need to put in that address, maybe I want that submission to go to my assistant to take care of that mail for me. On the left-hand side, we're gonna choose emails. We're gonna add a new email. And for this, we want it to be a notification email. The autoresponder email is the email that goes to the person who filled out the form. So we want a notification email. And we can see right here, notification email number two. So let's go ahead and change this and we'll say, this is gonna to go to my assistant. And from the recipients tab, we can change this email from me to my assistant. So now we can head back over to conditions. We can choose that new condition. We can change the email recipient. So let's say if do I have your address is equal to no, then we want to send that assistant email. And then we can put in their email here again as well. And we can save. Now, one last thing I wanna share with you is how you can take their responses from the form fields and kind of put it down as a recap at the bottom. So let's go ahead and bring in the paragraph text. I'm gonna put this right here at the bottom. Let's choose edit text. And we can see right here, form fields. This is where we can add in anything. So let's go ahead and kind of play with this. Let's say, hey there, and then we're gonna put their name. We'll send a confirmation email to email and send your goodies to, then we'll choose the address. Perfect. All right, so now if I go up to a preview form, we can see that it's kind of down there at the bottom and it's not filled in yet, which is kind of weird and awkward. So let's go ahead and play with that some more. Let's turn off the preview, back up to settings, conditions, a new condition. 
So let's show hide the field. So if the address is filled, then we want to show this piece right here. Let's save. All right, let's go ahead and preview this form. Let's fill it out and see what that looks like. So we can see down here at the bottom that that paragraph text is not there. But let's go ahead and fill this out. And we're going to choose no. So you can see as soon as I chose that down at the bottom, it says, hey there, Kim Park. We'll send a confirmation email to kp at test.com and send your goodies to 1234 Sesame Street, Los Angeles, California, 90210. And it's as simple as that. Now, again, there's some other things that we didn't mention. So make sure you go check out that features landing page for more information on data routing. If you have specific questions, definitely let us know down below in the comments. And if you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.